Testing one, two, one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Paint TV. I'm your host, Mr. Let's Paint. Another exciting show for you today. On the program today, we have none of the, none of the, none of the, than something. We got something coming for you. Let me get a cup of coffee and we'll get started here today on the program. You're watching Let's Paint TV, world's only how to paint program. Seen every day, 11 to 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. Eight one eight five two eight four five one six. Taking your calls. I'm gonna get some coffee. I am gonna get motivated here. Uh, possibly, possibly uh, get motivated for your equilibrium. Your equilibrium for my own my own equilibrium. Let's uh, jettison into the hemisphere into the next prognosis. Okay, uh, coffee and some water. Be right back. right there with you guys thanks again for watching the program just uh, microwaving some coffee here on the program okay just a second Out of here, out, out. Let's go, out. Get out. Yeah, I don't want you in here. Damn cat. Coming in here, marking up my studio, my Let's Paint TV studios. Coming to you live from my mother's basement here in lovely Los Angeles, California. 818-528-4516, taking your calls here. Uh, I, I guess I can address this. Uh, it, we can uh, talk about it. Let's talk about this. Apparently, uh, well, here, here's how, uh, I guess what happened for me, uh, I got light of or wind of, uh, Alex posted something on Facebook. about Steve Martin saying that quote okay here, here's uh, here's what apparently uh, this is a quote from 
Steve Martin, the <clears throat> well-known comedian, now banjo player, and art collector, claiming, uh, quote-unquote, humor in art is actually the next frontier of humor. Uh, and <clears throat> I, I have a few bones to pick with this statement coming from uh, someone who has lost their humor uh, and, and uh, is not that necessarily funny uh, anymore, has moved on into the world of, of power uh, and, and collecting art amongst, uh, buying art and, and collecting powerful uh, uh, works of art concerning themselves with the greatness of art uh, to apply that to, to the humor and, and to introduce humor into art uh, is a basically uh, uh, a mistake of sorts because what will be put on the platter in terms of what is humor or humorous art uh, will be uh, artists pretending or, uh, who, are, who play the intelligence game who play the uh, well thought out, well prepared. I'm gonna prepare and, and be extra funny. I'm gonna be extra funny and I'm gonna make art too. I'm gonna put that in my, I'm gonna put humor in my art and I'm gonna uh, use all my intelligence. I'm gonna be so intelligent uh, because that's, what, that's how I get my uh, props, that's how I succeed, is by being extra smarter. I am smarter than you with my art. I am smarter than you. So you're going to be drowned out. We're going we're gonna to give, celebrate, celebrate a whole slew of art out there. That is called humor. Oh, that's funny, but it's art too. Oh, that's funny and art at the same time. Oh, great idea, great idea. Well, let me just plan this out now. Steve Martin says that humor is the next frontier in art. Let's try to put some humor, let's try to interject some humor in my artwork. Well, I'm gonna plan it out. I'm gonna think about this. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna move because I'm a smart artist. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, well uh, appreciated, well uh, accepted within the art community. So I'm gonna now get appreciations all around for my my dabble my my move into humor and i'm gonna humor you with my artwork i'm gonna make funny well let me tell you steve martin let me tell you people out there that thinking about making humor in their art you can't just plan it out you can't just be all smart about your humor Humor is not always about being extra smart and clever. There's a little more, there's a little more deeper, there's a little more hits, hits, hits to the heart of things. Humor is something more than being clever. Humor uh, as, as what the art world tends to be. That is just going to be nothing but crap. Humor in art usually tends to be a bunch of shit. Shit that ain't funny and it ain't art. If you're gonna try to make put humor in the art, do it by accident. Do it by accident. Don't fucking try to have it all planned. That's the last thing we need to fucking Steve Martin telling everyone to fucking try to make humor in the art. You gotta get read books on that shit? Just fucking make your art, and if it's funny, it's funny. Don't fucking fucking bullshit plan out. Oh, I'm going to all of a sudden be funny. Moms, just do it. If it works, it works. I don't know how many times I've seen people, artists, who are busy making serious works of art, that all of a sudden get the, the clue, the, the light in their head that I'm going to all of a sudden be funny and that I'm going to be funny. Nothing. It's like, it's just like the worst stand-up.
That's like me doing stand-up. It's going to be bad. It's like me playing an electric guitar. <laughs> it's going to be bad. Which could be good. It could be good. But let's just figure it out. Let's just call it where it's at. It's going to be compartmentalized. And, and ultimately, it's going to be stale. It's going to be stiff. It's going to be safe. Not funny. Not going to be funny. You're going to try to be funny, but you ain't funny. You're not funny. But give it a shot, please. Uh, at the very least, try. If you, if you have some funny in you, let it out. Let out the funny. If it comes about that you're mixing art with your, with your, your humor, then fine. Great. I, I actually think that would be actually good. There's too much damn seriousness out there uh, in the art world. But, and, and, but I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying what's going to happen here is that when people start approaching the idea humor in art, they're going to pick safe, clever, intelligent shit. Well manufactured, well equipped, well whatever, and it has, hits all the right bells and whistles. And that shit, that stuff will be presented as, oh, that's humor in art. Hu oh, that is, f oh, wow. That is some funny shit. That's some funny ass shit. Oh, and look, it's good, nice, well crafted, well crafted shit. The, uh, guaranteed, very little room for the unexpected, for the unknown, for the raw. Give me some raw comedy. Give me some raw ash shit. I'm sick of this polished crap. Oh, and let's make it funny too. Let's make this shit funny too. That's what we got to do. Steve Martin says, let's make our fucking art Humorous. Let's get some humor in our art. Well, yeah, that's great. I like that too. I'd like to see some laughter. I want to laugh too. But I'm afraid it's not going to happen that way. I'm, gonna, I'm afraid that the powers that be, the people that pick, pick and choose shit, are going to go ahead and put crap out there that ain't even funny, but it's clever. Clever is not funny, all right? Could be. Sometimes. It could be. Just pointing it out there. Beware of what you hope for or what you seek out because it doesn't always work out. The funny, the funny doesn't always show up. Which is just the way it is. <laughs> Don't try to make that masterpiece, my friends. Don't worry about it. If, if, if it happens, it happens. All right. Uh, where, where are we at now? Uh, taking your, all right, that's my two cents of making no sense or partial sense. <laughs> uh, off the top of my head, off the, uh, it's, it's a built, built in deep down, um, issue that I have that uh, I have with uh, say art and as people that make art and people that are sort of the powers that be uh, that uh, though though uh, gotta I got to admit these powers that be aren't really uh, that any more uh, special than you and I and I'm, I'm well aware of that they just happen to have uh, they they have taste they are the taste kings they are the taster's choice they are picking taste they are delegating what is and what is not and so now people uh, such as Steve Martin who has now moved away from comedy uh, into 
all of a sudden the high form of art, of of the the intelligence, the uh, the, uh, uh, the the very the high uh, high, uh, high form of art of 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 thinking, because artists are are highly intelligent beings. So let's hang out with them. Uh, has take has gone away. Uh, he, the power has taken away his his comedy. It's taken away the raw, the real, the essence of of what he brought back in the '80s and what whenever, whenever he was popular. The funny, the funny is fleeting. It's fleeting. It doesn't just. Sh- you can't plan plan funny tired of people uh, uh, making the plan I'm going to be funny you can't be funny you want to read a book on how to be funny good luck good luck on that you want to read a book on how to be an artist good luck on that too there's no right way to do it no right way to do it. All right, take any calls. 818-528-4516. 818-528-4516. Funny. You want funny? You can't have funny. Funny is not allowed in the art world. Could you imagine people switching? And I have imagined this. I have imagined this. I have seen it firsthand. People getting, uh, like they, they, uh, had a dream, you know, they had this nightmare and, and they saw the, the, the end. Oh, let's take a call. Let's take a call. Hello, caller. You're on Let's Paint TV. Hey, how's it going? Uh, doing good. What's going on? What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, this is Corey from Las Vegas. Corey from Las Vegas. What's going on, Corey? Oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm watching the show and I'm absolutely loving it. I've been well, thank you. I'm glad you like the show. What, what, what can can do for you? Do you have any uh, two cents for the uh, uh, the topic of today? Well, I'm I'm, I'm watching. It's currently live, and um, and uh, you're talking about. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry. You're talking about art and comedy are both being subjective. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I've I've uh, I've I've opened the uh, Pandora's box on the idea that. That uh, uh, on on, on a uh, some some uh, statement that uh, Steve Martin uh, talked about how that art is the new frontier or humor is the new frontier in, in art. Right. That's it's a very interesting look at it. Well, it, it, it it's valid. It, it I, I I'm not uh, thinking that it is uh, a full on hooey uh, the idea, uh, but. Uh, I'm I'm afraid of what uh, is gonna uh, what what is gonna now uh, f- uh, show up, <laughs> you know. I'm afraid of all the crap that I'm gonna start seeing now. Oh no, that's 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 totally true. Because you're gonna get just anybody going out there trying comedy. Well, that's fine. I I, I again I I. <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to answer or or to be critical of of this whole idea because I'm not against people trying anything. I want you to fail. I want you to to in fact, I do it all the time. I it's just what I my issue is with that statement is we know we know the we're reading between the lines. I read between the lines of that statement from someone uh such as Steve Martin famous received the uh the Lincoln, the Kennedy Center honors. You know, he's a he's a he's a comedic genius. Uh, but but mm-hmm. we we cannot forget that the guy did that. What he's you know best known for is stuff that he did in the 80s 
uh, and then he, you know, sort of moved into uh, moved his brain into the world of, of movies uh, and and uh, uh, you know collecting art and and really hanging out hobnobbing with powers, uh, other uh, uh, successful-minded people that are powerful uh, souls that uh, that then become uh, taste taste makers. They are the decision makers. So then they uh, have then they start to decide what what they want to have and say yeah oh oh i like that that uh, i like the painting oh and it's a little bit of funny in there there's a little bit of oh i like oh and it's crafted really well oh and there's a little reference to uh a uh, a funny instance you know some for you know a little funny element oh there's a a button i can touch and it will as uh, a buzzer uh, you know <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know the ramifications that it's going to happen here, but I'm just saying that it's not what you want it to be. It's what they want it to be. And it's always going to be safe and it's not going to be raw. It's not going to be by mistake. It's going to be clever, planned, and intelligent humor is what it's going to be. And that's bullshit. We want some raw. We want some... We want the heart! The heart! We want some heart! Yeah, I, I agree completely. I don't want um, safe ass shit! I don't want the safe shit! I anyway, that, that, uh, no, but that's the, the reality. The Bill Hicks died, just everything went downhill. Who's that, Bill Hicks? Yeah. Uh, now, who, refresh, refresh who he who he was. Uh, I'm a little. Uh, I've heard of the name, but I'm I'm not really. Uh... Um, well, Bill Hicks. He had, he had a very very original comedy style. Um, <clears throat> but he was he was very very much supportive of uh, pretty much everything you're saying. Okay. I well, I look. I, comedy humor, and in particular comedy. Maybe comedy is different than humor, but comedy is, uh, uh, you know, there's, there's, uh, you know, you're almost about to cry potentially, or, you know, there's a, there, there is that, that element. Uh, and it's, it's a, it's a raw, it's a really a raw emotion. And, and mm-hmm. to me, to me, I just, I hate the idea in a way of seeing, uh, art intelligentsia types deciding to try to be funny. I just, it just doesn't seem like that's going to happen very well. And when it will, and when it does, it's going to look like shit. It's going to be shit, which shit can be good though. Shit can be good. I'm not saying it's all bad, bad because bad is good, but this is going to be bad. That just sucks. And it's going to be piss poor, piss poor, uh, uh, weak. Yeah, no, very weak. All it's right. Be just watered down garbage, and then when that becomes the norm, um, no one's gonna try and rise above anything, or even try. Well, no, but people, but someone will. Someone will. Someone, someone within that paradigms of of sort of m- a mediocre uh, safeness, safeness. Right. Uh, someone will figure out how to uh, yeah. hit the right bells and whistles, and then get that little extra. Ugh! Like a little, ha, 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 you know, oh, I'm going to hit all the little, I'm going to hit all the little notes that you want, Steve Martin. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to hit all, ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong. Uh, that shows my craftfulness. I'm very crafty now. I can hit, dong, ding, I can hit all the right notes, notes. And then I'm going to, bam, bam. Absolutely. Ah! Oh, that's scary. Oh no, that that guy's scary. Oh no, that's not that's not that's not comedy. That's not humor. That's just scary. That guy's scary. Uh, yeah. So, uh, good luck. Good luck, everybody, on that. Uh, I don't think anyone's really listening to him, but I just saw it listed. Uh, uh, Alex posted it on Facebook, and apparently that's uh, a a thought of his and I, I it's it's something that I 
I guess is in my back of my mind that I seen uh, artists try to be funny. And uh, it's always kind of kind of pathetic in a weird way. And that's all I can say is, is the idea of being an artist, particularly in a contemporary art sense, is, uh, and, and maybe that's why humor needs to be thrown in there uh, or more, int- uh, more, more, you know, uh, that uh, needs to be mined. It needs to be mined more. And so uh, w- in that sense, he's correct or right or, or I, I welcome it. But I'm, you know, again, I'm afraid of, uh, of sort of the safeness of it all within the, the way the art world or what is presented out there, uh, how it's, how it's uh, you know, how things are presented. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid that it's going to really be uh, not, not, not very interesting, I guess. And, mm-hmm. real, and not, not terribly and funny. Seems, I mean, uh, it seems like the new trend is lots of things are almost reminding you when you're supposed to laugh, which I think is very annoying. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's nothing worse than the comedian sort of laughing at their own jokes. Yes, and then uh, over-explaining it. Yeah, mm. did you get it? Did you get it? Or, or, or <laughs> exactly. Or they're just laughing all the time, or giving that little wink. Like I, I mean, I, I get it. Saturday Night Live when they're laughing during their skits uh, because they're cracking up. That's pretty funny. I got. I mean, now wait a second. Now you know, I'm admitting that that's funny. In fact, that might be the best part of Saturday Night Live is when they screw things up mm-hmm. and they, you know, so. How do we, there's no, okay, no cut or dry way of doing this. If, if this is, if we were going to have like a, a, a class or, or, you know, some sort of seminar on how to be funny in your art, uh, there's no right way to do it. And I honestly, uh, I, I guess we just have to try it or, or consider it. Uh, but what, but I'm just, I just see the funny humor uh, in art. It's there. There's a lot, I mean, there's a lot of people doing it uh, to some degree. Uh, usually, uh, it's, it tends to be subtle, subtle, uh, mm-hmm. hidden. So I don't, uh, maybe it needs to be a little more overt, I suppose. I, I mean, whatever uh, you, you can't really ultimately make, uh, any, uh, uh, assumptions or, or predictions on, on what happens, you know? So. Uh, but, but I, I just, I guess what I'm worried about is, uh, is that idea that people, uh, decide, you know, uh, systematically, uh, you know, uh, through educational processes, uh, you know, uh, to be funny. I just, I, I think that that just is a mistake and uh it it may it may ruin your art making uh approach (laughs) Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, because it it will you know uh you 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 make stuff and you're trying to be funny uh and and then no one really thought it was funny uh that might hurt your mind that might hurt your your psyche and, and then you might quit making art yeah, no, I, I, I've seen it happen before. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, all right. Uh, well, so so you're an artist yourself? Um, I, I'm, well, I'm actually a comedian. Oh, um, you are a comedian. Well, I'm okay. an amateur comedian. Okay. But I, I go to open mics and whatnot. Okay. Oh, well, uh, yeah, I've never... I've done some sort of... I've done some performances in stand... Uh, sort of not... It's not more... Uh, it's more a Gallagher approach uh, in terms of my right. stand-up uh, abilities. I don't really, I've never done stand-up, like stand-up, uh, though I guess I kind of do it here a little bit. <laughs> uh, I guess, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's, it's, it's, it's kind of nervous, isn't it? Getting on oh, stage. It's, well, it's, it's weird. I, I was nervous maybe the first, two or three times and yeah. then after that it was nothing and i mean i'm a very shy person yeah it's i you know i i'm all i'm actually pretty shy myself i'm not an outgoing person so uh but i i do i found i found that i like performing i like mm-hmm. um and then i don't get terribly uh, uh nervous too much 
In fact, I like, I kind of like the, the, the challenge of it. Uh, what I don't, you know, what I don't care for so much is, is doing this show when there's only like five people watching or, you know, I'd rather be in front of uh, more people. That's why there's a lot, yeah. you know, that's why they, they do sitcoms and, and, and shows, you know, in front of a live audience. It's just the energy is, is uh, above and beyond with, the, with real people. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, when, okay, when I, I'm, I got to head out now, but I, um, okay. I just wanted to thank yeah, you I very don't much. Keep you I'm any a huge longer. fan. I've been watching since uh, years ago, actually, all okay. the, the blended drinks and exercise. Yeah, yeah, we, we still do that. I just uh, have Oh, you still do that? That's fantastic. Yeah, I, I keep wanting to do it again, and then I, I get lazy. Right. Like right now, okay, I'm, well, I'm lazy. Thank you again very much for having me on. Hey, no problem. The best of luck to your humor, and uh, try to add Thank a little you. add a little art to it. At oh, I have recently gotten into painting. Okay, and um, now put some humor in it. Put some humor in it. Yeah, definitely. Will do. <laughs> See, now I'm laughing at my own joke. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, very okay. good. I'll talk to you later. All right, thanks for the call, buddy. Yeah. Call him buddy. All right, uh, Las Vegas in the house taking your calls. I, I guess uh, I I don't really have uh, much more to say about it except for uh, good luck on that, really. <laughs> good good luck, artist, on trying to, uh, to, to be humorous. Uh, I guess there are some examples. Uh, and I could name you a few. I, I, I could I could name you a few. If, if let's say if I were to create a show, uh, a show of humor, in art, uh, I could. Uh, I I would come up with a few possibilities for sure. And uh, you know, there's plenty. There's plenty. And to think that it's some new idea. It's it. But I it's something I I would say it is most likely something that has more more recent only because we we have freed ourselves again from the the benefactors the benefactors uh in the the church and uh the kings and queens of the day in our art making processes and we're free to do whatever the hell we want to do so clearly uh it's it's possibilities um but I, I'm obviously uh, of the thought, as I pointed out earlier, that that uh, you know making these selections, making the selections, or, or uh, celebrating uh, this so-called humor in art uh, will and undoubtedly be uh, kind of. Uh, not, not, not terribly funny. Uh, and I, and I think it's, 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 uh, because it will lack the rawness of funny. It will. Uh, that's why you make art. That's why you, that's why you are a comedian. You know, you, you have to kind of do it. You have to do it. Uh, but the business part of art, the business part of art, the uh, the commercialization of art, the packaging of art is is a uh, is a is a beast that is uh, in some ways very, very uncreative. It's a business, is, is an uncreative, it's really, you know, the money, it's making money and, uh, and I think you spend time in the power, in the power class, you lose sight of, of, of 
funny. You lose sight of, of raw emotion. Uh, I think you're more likely to. I think you're more likely to. You're Beyonce. You're Steve Martin. Uh, you're whoever. I think it's easy for you to overlook because you can't look. It's easy. You cannot look. You're not, a, you're not able to look. You're not able to look anymore. You're not able to, to really think. You're not able to even think anymore. You're like Thomas Kincaid. You're not able to keep trying new crazy things because of your success has prevented you. Your managers, your agents, your lawyers have prevented you from doing something entirely different, changing it up. Uh, 818-528-4516. So good luck. Uh, I'm sure there's a class going to be taught on humor and art. Um, good luck with that. Uh, if, if you do get, if you do have a teacher, uh, if you're going to hire a teacher for that purpose, um, you might, we well, might want to avoid uh, the serious minded ones, those serious minded artists out there that, uh, go within the, uh, uh, the wine and dine, uh, wine and dine, uh, class, uh, of the art world, uh, who, who, who know, who, you know, the taste setters, I would stay away from those types. I, I don't think they can do you any good. Uh, they, they, they seem to be, uh, they like to hang out together and uh, support each other. So uh, I don't see how they're going to support you. Well, they'll let a few in their club. Uh, in fact, uh, if you're going to hire anyone to uh, teach creativity, uh, make sure that they are really genuinely there to help you out and to foster your, uh, your, your endeavor. That's tricky. That's tricky. I don't know how that works. Uh, that's probably why you don't hire me. Uh, no, I mean, I, I would, I, I, I uh, the, the few times I've uh, tried to sit in on a class or two, I, I do try to help people out. But, you know, art is a weird, art, art, making art is weird. It's a weird thing. How do you teach it? It's, it's a weird, weird, weird kind of deal. Uh, but there's a lot of underlying factors on, on that. That's why actually teaching of art is so much easier if it is just based on the craft of it all. If it's just based on uh, how to be crafty, how to, how to do a certain technique. That, that my friends, is, is not a problem. But when we start getting into the, the other aspects of, of the teaching of art, now I'm getting into, into my, my uh, diatribe about art education. But when we, get, when we move on from that element of, of, okay, this is how you look at art in terms of depicting things uh, representational or this is how things are done, uh, the craft. Uh, but then when we move on to the other angle, the other, the other part uh, of, the f of the phase of the creation of art, well, you know, uh, what does it mean or what are you trying to do? Uh, conceptual art, which I never quite understood that term. Uh, but, but those kind of things, those uh, sort of the, the, that's where the, the clever part comes in. That's where, oh, I'm intelligent. I am a smart human being. I'm very smart. And uh, because I, I thought up of this clever idea to combine these elements. And, and then, let's th okay, now I'm going to throw in some bullshit that I read uh, that I can regurgitate for you to, uh, to uh, re- uh, enforce uh, whatever bullshit presentation or art uh, uh, object or process that I, I'm trying to give to your way uh, to give it some, some bones. Oh, you're, the, this artwork has some good bones. You know what? I don't know if I want artwork 
I mean, I want a house with good bones, you know, good structure, right? You know, because you don't want your house to fall apart. But it's debatable. It's debatable. If, if, uh, and in fact, it's not necessary to have good bones in your art. In fact, probably shouldn't. Art is not, is not a house. I've talked about this many times. The making of art or being an artist, you're not an architect. I mean, you could be an architect, but you're not building a house, okay? You're not, you're not making a mechanical airplane. You're making uh, a statement. You're making a statement uh, in your present state, humanity's present state, your cultural significance uh, of you being in this environment at this moment in time and place. That is more important. And, and you probably, uh, no matter what you do, you're not going to escape that or, or avoid that uh, just by the fact of you doing whatever you do. But uh, I think more, uh, you can, uh, I think some works uh, or, or objects or, or ideas, whatever it is, uh, uh, have more of that in it, uh, more, more zest, more impetus, uh, potent. It's a little more potent in, in that idea of the, of, the, of the I'm alive right now idea. Uh, though, again, it's not, not important, not imperative uh, with whatever, uh, not for everything we do. Uh, obviously, that's not. If the one thing you get out of today's uh, lecture is do what the hell ever you want. Do what the hell ever you want. Be whatever you want, follow whatever you want to do, uh, seek the intangible dreams, the, uh, you know, climb uh, any mountain uh, and uh, jump on any, uh, uh, trampoline. It's just food for thought. We are uh, just exercising the thought balloon uh, the uh, the inner sanctum of, of one's momentary uh, glance into uh, into reality or, or or lack of reality or insanity, uh, but by by doing so, uh, sanity uh, sets in. I think I think that uh, that tends to be the case. I I'm a fan of that idea uh, that one's uh, release. Uh, of of sort of uh, madness or insanity uh, within the creative realm uh, or exercise, guys, exercise to uh, sport, you know, uh, heck, war. I guess we could go even further with that, but let's stay away from that because I'm not a fan of that, even though I guess that's in our DNA, it looks like. Uh, but that, that uh, the sanity uh sets in uh, soon after it, you, you, uh, you, have, uh, you have the ability to uh, have peace in, in, in a tormented uh, sea of abyss that may be, uh, that may be surrounding uh, one's, uh, one's life, uh, the, the tra tra traverse, uh, uh, the uh, trials and tribulations. Uh, that uh, one one may have, and we all have. I don't think we uh, avoid it. No one avoids it. Uh, I sure wish, though, it'd be fun to, uh, or I would think it would be fun. It might be a little boring. Might be a little boring uh, to to not have uh, any any problems in our lives uh, ever again. <laughs> uh, wow, was that funny? Was that funny, guys?
Was, was that was that funny? Uh, I think. See, that was more. That was more sad. That was more. I feel like crying because I know fucking shit's going down uh, somewhere in in the in the in the near future or in the uh, far future. A future tense. And uh, so with that, uh, you don't know. Uh, so we do, uh, maybe we could cry uh, for, the, uh, for the future. I'm actually kind of optimistic, uh, at least for some reason. Uh, I am. I don't know why. why. Why should I be optimistic? But I am. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. But not always. Oh my goodness, not at all. <laughs> but uh, but in the long run, for the long run, I I, I do uh, uh, feel optimistic. I guess. Uh, so I guess uh, that that keeps me level, level-headed, maybe. Guys, uh, go ahead and. Uh, Try, try to do whatever you want to try to do. Don't let me stop you. I don't want to stop you. I don't want to. All I want to do is plant some, uh, some, some, uh, some words of destruction or, or uh, wisdom, whatever you want to consider it, uh, into, the, uh, into the kettle, into the brew, and uh, maybe uh, do, do with what you want with the... Uh, with those uh, those thoughts, uh, which really uh, probably uh, a a lot of hooey, it's probably just a lot of hooey, which uh, which is fine. I, I understand. All right, eight one eight five two eight four five one six. We got the one call, uh, Seth. I like college for that. Says Seth. All right, and uh, just checking our emails. Eight one eight five two eight four five one six. Uh, it is uh, let's paint TV. I, 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 and and have, as such, let's get some paint on the canvas here. <laughs> uh, you you want want this to be funny? You want some funny? <laughs> yeah yeah. Let's get funny. Let's try to put some humor in this. Yeah. Hey, let's try to be funny now. I want to. I want my painting to be funny. Yeah, Steve Martin says that we should try to be funny in our artwork. Yeah, let's let's try that out. No, nah, it's not funny. Shit ain't funny, man. <laughs> Shit ain't funny. It's all right. It's all right. Don't uh, you know? There's there's a lot to be said about not being funny, and yet within the within the realm of the funny. It, there's a there's a lot there's a lot to be said about that. There's a lot of of good of of being able to. Well, that's called bombing. That's called bombing. Uh, and that's uh, uh, in stand up. I uh, I like I said. I I don't really. I've never really done stand up though. I've I've done a couple of. I've I've done some you know live performances in in a stand up uh, sort of perform, comedy se- se- setting. Uh, and well. I, I tend to incorporate the failure, and so the fact that I bomb is uh, is fine with me. Uh, and somehow I uh, I like the idea of falling flat on my face a little bit, though I, I never I don't know if I really ever do. It might be more uh, construed as uh, pathetic. Uh, my my uh, I could imagine that's uh, what the sort of the uh, the humor police the 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 powers that be that these are artificial powers I mean they're not necessarily it's not any particular group necessarily but there are people that have uh, they're decision decision makers decision makers and and uh, they they always they make these decisions uh, you're not gonna, uh, you're not gonna get past them or get around that. Beep. 
pew, pew. I, I don't know why I have these little lines going this way, so I'm just gonna reinforce them, even though I'm not sure I even want them there. But for some reason, I have a optical need to put these guys here. Boom, 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 zoom. Gives a little structure though. I, I like that idea that there's a little structure. Maybe it's kind of funny. Maybe it's funny. Huh? Uh, anyway, Alex thought in his post, I didn't, uh, going back to the Steve Martin, Alex thought that that maybe some of the stuff that I have done or do uh, would fall in line of that humor and art. And uh, that's where uh, I, that's where sort of the bone of contention uh, uh, was uh, started is because I'm, I almost am certain that that I am not, you know, I am not part of that that uh, element of of uh, safety, safety dance, safe, safe humorous art, intelligent art. I don't think I uh, I fit the bill. And that's okay. I will keep going. I will continue on. <laughs> and maybe I do. Maybe I do fit the bill. Maybe I do. Maybe I, I uh, was uh, somehow... Uh, maybe I would be part of that. What if I were? <laughs> I would delete this whole uh, this whole show today. I'll delete it if that were the case. Because we want to control, uh, we want to control all our social media activities, guys. And delete. Uh, I'm going to delete my Facebook account. I'm going to delete my YouTube account uh, and Twitter and because and then start all over. And, and then have a management team come in, a production crew, and we're going to just revamp uh, my identity and who I am and my funny and my art and all that stuff. Uh, and Steve Martin will be actually uh, <laughs> one of my uh, silent partners. Yeah, I just got word right now, got word about that. Okay, let's go back to the to the funny, uh, to the <laughs> to my funny painting. And and what would funny be in a, in a humorous? What would be a humorous painting? I guess uh, maybe cartoony, right? We want cartoony. Then would that be cartoony in in humor? Yeah, it's interesting. It's an interesting idea. I mean, I I'm I'm uh, all for uh, uh, chuckle. I want you to chuckle. I want you all to chuckle. I want you all to laugh, even if it's a fake laugh. A fake laugh has been proven by research to be uh, even just as good as as the real laugh, which is kind of hard to believe. But I want a real I want a real laugh. I want some real ass laughter. But it's hard to get that. It's hard to laugh. You know, like uh, some of the few times I, I've laughed a lot was like when I was a kid, and you know, with my brothers. Uh, you know, just uh, laughing, just like crying. And I don't even think it was terribly funny, you know. I mean, if you look back on it, was it really that funny? But man, that, that was good stuff. That, that's like, you know, uh, I get, and sometimes a comedian can get you uh, in stitches. Uh, it is possible. Uh, Steve Martin used to do that. 
uh, way back when. I, I just don't, I don't have any good uh, knowledge. Uh, and maybe, maybe someone has some good funny from uh, Steve Martin from the past uh, 20 years. Uh, let me know. Uh, it's hard. It's hard to keep the funny up. It's sort of like uh, uh, comedians are, are that way, though. You, you can't sustain humor. Uh, it seems, it seems longer than, than a handful of years. It's just, it's a hard, it's a hard nut to crack. It's a hard, it's, it's, it's an emotional thing. It's based on, uh, again, uh, the, the living of the now, uh, the cultural, uh, sense of wherewithal. It's also reaching out to the world and yelling out to the world, which I like to do. I like yelling out to the world. Eddie Murphy is another example. Not funny anymore. Was funny long time ago. Was damn funny. Richard Pryor. I, I don't even know. Is he still alive? But but he was man. That our, that guy. Now that was a that was a comedian that made me, just, you know, got me in stitches. It. Uh, I was in the I was in the emergency room after watching him, and and then uh well and in his case could could have been the. Uh, the free base and all that stuff, but I just don't think you can sustain the funny uh, longer than a than a and then than a handful of years. Maybe George Carlin. Now he would maybe be one somebody that I would think uh, was able to sustain the funny and be funny for uh, throughout his whole life. George Carlin. Uh, Right, uh, Adam uh, Sh- Sandler. Dude was kind of funny in Saturday Night Live, but not funny anymore. So funny humor is a is a slippery slope, my friends. It's hard. It's hard to be funny all the time. It really is. Because when you try to be funny, you're not. That's as simple. It's a simple mathematical uh, element. I think you stumble upon it. I, I really do. I think there's some blind uh, luck or, or just by chance. I'm, I, I would say that that's the case. And now you're going to try to introduce that one would, you know, what want introduce that in, in art making and, and, I, and, I, and I think you'll get some luck we'll get some funny stuff uh, but it'll be hard to sustain I think it's hard to sustain maybe maybe not for, for some people it will others it will not hey uh, my time is up as I, I become a sad and thoughtful human being. <laughs> uh, no, I, I'm not. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I think I need some lunch now. And uh, that is the show. Thanks again, guys. Uh, we will see you again tomorrow uh, on this, on this channel. Uh, I may, I may uh, work work some um, more paint on this. Uh, I don't know if this this is kind of one of these paintings that you just might not ever, I might not ever finish. I don't know why uh, I'm even wasting paint. You know, it's like sometimes you you got a painting like that, you got to. Uh, but this feels, it feels kind of still good. I I kind of feel good about working on it, but at the same time, I'm feeling like. Maybe I'm just throwing my money down the <laughs> down the toilet uh, with the uh, with this uh, this piece. This. All right, let's take another call. Uh, all right, hello, caller. You're on Let's Paint TV. Hey, what's going on? Uh, I'm. I was just about to close up, but you called. Uh yeah. It's, hey, it's Moody. It's Moody. Oh, okay, Moody. Hey, what's going on? Uh, is, this, is the show still going on? 
Yeah, I'm about to hang up. I mean, I'm about to close up shop. But yeah, let's... I know you're about to close up shop, but uh, I got your uh, I got I got, I got your uh, thing in the mail, and I just want to tell you thank you. I appreciate oh, it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, man, cool. Uh, thanks for donating. Like, um, it, 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 meant a, it meant a lot to me that you sent it to me. I, I just want to say thank you. That's all. Uh, cool. You know, I don't want to bug you, but like, uh, <laughs> it's fucking that pamphlet is amazing. It's awesome. Coolio. Awesome, dude. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, that's that's fucking hysterical. <laughs> I was showing people, I'm like, we're cracking up. But, uh... All right, well, thanks a lot, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm just about to close up shop, so... Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll, 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 I just want to tell you thank you, and you I appreciate it. it. And I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you another time. Okay, thanks, Moody. Honey. All right, take care, buddy. Bye. All right, later. All right, guys, that's it for me. Uh, I'll, uh, I gotta eat some lunch and, uh, maybe, uh, maybe I'll, uh, do something else with my life at the moment. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I got a lot of things to do. So, uh, I gotta, I gotta say goodbye to you and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye everybody.